Uh, consists of latent contractors, uh, SKM, AECOM and the New Zealand Transport Agency and it was set up to refurbish the Terrace Tunnel and the Mount Victoria Tunnel in Wellington. The upgrade of the tunnel started with the deconstruction of the ceiling. I say deconstruction not demolition because we're actually taking it apart the same way it was built. So we've had to start with the deconstruction at the northern end and work south. We're ripping everything out of the tunnel getting it back to a clean surface so the boys can start putting up all the new fresh cable tray, deluge system, do the concrete repairs, new lighting system, new jet fans. With Mount Vic we are carrying out phase one which is the removal of the existing concrete plenum which will make that tunnel safe from a structural point of view. During the demolition phase, uh, a real big challenge is, uh, is, is preventing debris from the demolition dropping onto traffic below. So we've uh, constructed this deck called uh, TB7, um, which is essentially a, a safe working platform, which isolates the demolition face from the road users during the day, and then provides a safe working platform, and again, isolation between the guys who are doing the demolition and the guys who are doing the rest of the tunneling work. Through the sort of combined alliance approach, you know, we, we've managed our risks in a, in a very responsible way and in a very objective way. I sort of rate the, the demolition of the tunnel ceiling as actually one of the major challenges we've faced. And through that confidence and being able to take down a, a ceiling in a nightly process um, um, has sort of built the project up to where we're delivering a, a really um, fantastic job on both the Terrace Tunnel and the Victoria Tunnel. So today we mark the completion of a $50 million project to bring this tunnel up to what is an international standard in terms of safety and resilience.